Ben Revere was at one point one of the most underrated outfielders in baseball. His speed and athleticism were super helpful for him and his team. But now, Revere is no longer on an MLB roster, and we never really got an explanation to his departure from the league. So, what happened? How is everybody doing today? It's what's all back from the video. Today, I'll be talking about Ben Revere and what exactly happened to his MLB career. Before we get into this video guys, I would just like to thank you all so much for the love and support we've been getting on this channel lately. We recently just surpassed 1,000 subscribers, which is in my opinion insane. I never thought we'd hit 1,000 subscribers so quickly. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you all so much for everything recently. Because I've got some good content coming soon for you guys, and I hope you'll enjoy it. But anyways, let's not waste any time, and let's get straight into it. Let's first take a look at how Ben Revere's career began. He made his first appearance in the league back in 2010. He played his first three years in the league with the Minnesota Twins. And in all those three years, he did not hit one home run. He played a total of 254 games with the Twins and never hit a home run. Crazy, right? Well, just because he had no power doesn't mean he was all that useless. Ben Revere's main skills were speed, getting hits, and having a high batting average. His best year in Minnesota was in 2012, which was the last year playing there. He had a 292 batting average with no home runs and 32 RBIs, but he stole 40 bases and had 150 hits. Ben Revere's career was just getting started and he was already starting to become an entertaining player. Imagine watching a Twins game. You see a guy hit the ball to the warning track. He's running to third and then he does something like this. All the way to the wall, Brent Burr retrieves it. Revere does a somersault and still gets to third base. Wow. I have never seen that before <laughs> in my life. I would be so entertained if I watched this live. But like I said the first time, this was only the beginning. On December 6, 2012, Revere ended up getting traded to the Philadelphia Phillies for Vance Worley and Trevor May. And this was where Revere really proved himself to the league. In 2014, at just 26 years old, Ben Revere would have an incredible season. It wouldn't even be the best year of his career. In 2014, Revere would have a 306 batting average and had 2 home runs, 28 RBIs, and stole 49 bases. But the best part was that he had 184 hits that season. That would be a career high for him. Revere was probably one of the best leadoff hitters that season. Now, it is great seeing him performing like this, but there was a huge problem. Okay, I wouldn't say huge, but it was a problem. You see, Revere always had one problem, and that was staying healthy. Revere suffered a good number of injuries in his career. And I wouldn't say it was the biggest problem for him, but it was getting a bit repetitive. Revere only lasted two and a half years in Philly until trade deadline of 2015, when he was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays for Alberto Torado and Jimmy Cordero. That year in 2015 is either tied or slightly better than the 2014 season he had when it comes to the best year of his career. He had a 306 batting average with two home runs and 45 RBIs and had 181 hits and stole 31 bases. After six years of pro ball, Revere was looking good. He was an elite leadoff hitter who was extremely useful for a team. But unfortunately, after 2015, that's when Revere's career started to sort of fall off. On January 8, 2016, Revere was traded to the Washington Nationals for Drew Storen. He ended up suffering an injury where he strained his oblique. He would have a 217 batting average that season with two home runs and 24 RBIs, stealing 14 bases and only having 76 hits. It was a down year for him. And sadly, after 2016, it would be the last year of his career in the MLB. On December 23, 2016, Revere signed a one-year, $4 million contract with the Los Angeles Angels. And let's just say that Revere didn't play the worst in Anaheim. In 109 games played, he had a 275 batting average with one home run, 20 RBIs, and still 21 bases. Those stats don't seem to disappoint, right? Well, 
after 2017, Revere struggled to get on an MLB roster. So that's when he attempted to get on a minor league roster. On February 25th, 2018, Revere ended up signing a minor league contract with the Cincinnati Reds. But just one month later, he was released. Five days later, after he was cut, the Angels decided to give him a second chance and picked him up. Revere ended up lasting a few months on the Angels minor league roster until July of 2018 when they decided to get rid of him. Then in the offseason of 2019, Revere had another chance at success. The Texas Rangers decided to pick him up and actually invited him to spring training. The question was, did he prove himself? Not exactly. Revere, like he did on the other clubs he played for, lasted a few years before once again getting the boot. And then another month would pass and the chances of Revere returning on a major league roster didn't seem too likely. Until April of 2019, the Blue Jays, just like the Angels, said, let's give him a shot. And Revere's shot of performing well didn't go as planned. He ended up getting released in May. It really sucks to see how Revere just fell off. From being practically irreplaceable on an MLB roster, to now struggling to even stay on a minor league roster for one year. Now here's the big question. What exactly happened to Ben Revere? Well, I have two theories on why Revere's career ended earlier than usual. Number one, teams just started lo losing interest in him. There will be a time in a baseball player's career where teams will just stop having interest in you and find other people that they're just more interested in. And in my opinion, this theory would make sense because of how inconsistent Revere played at times. Or number two, the injuries. This is one that I wouldn't buy as much, but I guess in some ways, it could make a little bit of sense. We did mention how Revere suffered some injuries in his career. Do I think that is why his career basically ended? I wouldn't say so. It didn't help out the cause though, that's for sure. Revere's MLB career only lasted 8 years, and I believe it could have lasted way longer than that, if only teams had interest in him. But one thing that we will never forget about Revere is some of the greatest plays he made that we have ever seen. That is be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you are new to the channel, consider leaving a like and subscribing. I would really appreciate that. Once again, thank you all so much for 1,000 subscribers on the channel. I've got a lot of content coming soon. But as always, I will see you all next time. I'm out.